Hello, my name is Meredith Clinton and I teach English and yearbook journalism at York Comprehensive High School. I'm excited to welcome you to the 2020 Cougar Yearbook Dedication Ceremony. Ordinarily, our senior class would be gathered together in this auditorium and the rest of the YCHS and FDJTC family would be watching from their classrooms. But as we all are aware, this year is extraordinary. However, some things remain the same. I always begin this presentation by recognizing the work of the yearbook production staff. This year, our sophomores are Chris Borman, Brent Bradley, Katie Chapman, Maria Emery, Jenica Hundley, Emma Jeremko, Janaya Love, Jordan Mills, Sierra Parrish, and Monica Monet Shannon. Juniors are Ayani Barnett, Zania Cannon, Jordan Docto, Lonnie Hughes, and J.C. Ramsey. Now for our senior staff members. They are Jason Aiken, Mackenzie Feenster, Aaliyah Love, Mayana Scherer, and Harley Turner. I'd like to thank these students for their contributions to this year's Cougar. Putting together a publication of this size is not a task to be taken lightly, and it requires a lot of cooperation from people in the school and community. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank some of them. First, I'd like to thank the administration, staff, and students of YCHS and Floyd D. Johnson Technology Center for your support, participation, and patience and flexibility with the interruptions caused by necessities such as photography and interviewing. I would particularly like to thank the office staff of YCHS, Ms. Bratton, Ms. Helton, Ms. Johnson, Ms. McCowan, and Ms. Wilkerson for all of their assistance. Dr. Kaylin Whitesides has been an invaluable resource, providing photographs and technological help whenever we ask, and we ask a lot. Our Jostens representatives are also always there when we need them. So I need to acknowledge, acknowledge Rebecca Dyer, who is our representative at the Jostens printing plant in Clarksville, Tennessee, and say a special word of thanks to Andrew Bell, our awesome Jostens sales representative, who is always there to help troubleshoot and provide any assistance that we require with professionalism and good cheer. Bill Blackston and his crew of photographers from Life Touch and Prestige Portraits and Carolina Sports Photography have provided excellent coverage of our students through senior and underclass pictures and sports team and action photographs. Local photographers Aaron Reel and Troy Reed have also been gracious enough to allow us to use their images on our pages, which is much appreciated. I'd also like to thank the parents who purchased senior recognition ads and yearbooks for their students and who assisted with sending photographs and providing information this year. My final word of thanks is to Tim Cooper, York School District 1's Public Information Officer, who does a wonderful job chronicling events all over the district, is always willing to share his work and expertise with the yearbook staff, and who has been a lifeline to all of us during these tumultuous last few weeks. We've worked very hard to provide what we hope will be a meaningful book of memories that you can treasure forever. It's been a year of change, of fun, of work, and of loss. We tried to cover as much of it as we could. So let's take a look back at the way things work. The 2020 Cougar Yearbook is entitled, In Retrospect.
year, YCHS seniors vote for a faculty member who has had a lasting impact on their lives to honor with the Cougar Yearbook dedication. The class of 2020 has chosen Mrs. Lauren Klepker, YCHS English and Broadcast Journalism teacher. I'd like to read some quotes from the dedication page that indicate why Mrs. Kleppinger was their choice. She's a person you can count on to talk to whenever you need to. She has pushed me to be a better person and truly cares about her students. Empathy and kindness are the most important basics of teaching, and this teacher is genuinely my friend. She always makes sure that we're okay. She cares about her students and has a passion for teaching. Mrs. K. McSpadden, YCHS's English department chair, had this to say about Ms. Kleffinger. Mrs. Kleffinger is the teacher we all wish we could have, a beautiful soul who loves her students and cares about helping them grow into the best people they can be. I loved having her as one of my own students but I'm honored to serve beside her as a member of the English department of YCHS. Mrs. Kleffinger, thank you for being a kind, generous presence in our English department and a good friend to me for many years. Congratulations. We're fortunate that Ms. Kleffinger is here to express her appreciation to the seniors. Thank you all very much. Uh, this means the world to me. I am thankful for the opportunity to have gotten to know and teach so many of you in 10th, 11th, 12th grade. Many of you I've gotten to teach more than once. I love teaching here at YCHS. I can't imagine being anywhere else. Um, this is a very special place. I am so sorry about the ending of your senior year. However, I know that you are all strong and resilient and that you have bright futures ahead of you. I hope that when you think back on YCHS, you remember this place fondly and you remember those of us here who love you and want the very best for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Kleffinger. And again, congratulations. At our usual yearbook ceremony, this is the time when I give instructions for the day's distribution. Though we are not handing out books today, I still have important information about that process, which looks quite different this year. Seniors who ordered yearbooks prior to the senior celebration on May 4th should have received their books as they drove through the line. If they did not pick them up that day, or if they have ordered a book online since then, their books will be available for pickup at YCHS on May 19th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Underclass students who ordered books will be able to pick their copies up on their grades designated turn-in day. Once again, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students who have purchased yearbooks will receive their books when they come to school to turn in their remaining packets on their assigned day, May 26th, 27th or 28th. We do have a limited number of copies that are still available for purchase. If you would like to reserve one, please go online to www.jostensyearbooks.com. Any book reserved online will be available for pickup through the same procedure that I just outlined. Those books will be available for pickup at the school on the designated days. Don't delay though, because once they're gone, they're gone. Also, in his communications, Mr. Poston has mentioned a virtual yearbook signing. Thanks to our friends at Jostens, any student will have the ability to participate in this unique opportunity. We are still waiting for Jostens to make that program available to us but I have been told that it should be live next week. Be on the lookout for more information to come about how you can participate. 
Again, we hope you enjoy the 2020 Cougar for years to come. Many congratulations to the class of 2020. You are very special to me. And I wish you much joy and success as you go out from us. Thank you for watching. Continue to stay safe and well. And as always, go Cougars.